boys. All right, so we got Anderson Silva, absolute legend on the pod today. We got his fight versus Jake Paul coming up, and we also got UFC in Abu Dhabi. Two huge fights, back-to-back -back weekends. I'm looking to fucking bet big on both those fights. I'm gonna be betting, as always, on stake.com, my favorite place to bet. Make sure you guys lock in your bets on stake. Send me your screenshots of you guys betting with stake, because I really wanna know. I need some winners. I'm kind of undecided about both these fights. Thank you guys, let's get into it. Here's Brad, here's Brad, here's Brad. Okay, so how does that make you feel? Holy, <laughs> Holy yeah. fuck, Brad is the best interviewer I've ever heard in my life, bro. You heard it there first. Hey, who taught you that? Whoa! <laughs> oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. What are we doing in the car? What are we doing in the car? Go, go get the signing one. Remember the signing Dude. question? Dude! Like, do you think he fights? Yeah, like, Sonny'd be like, do you, so do you train for your fights? Wait, why? Why do I get that? <laughs> you know what's funny is every single question from this podcast that gets clipped, the Mr. Beast 250K, who's asking that? Don't forget that. Holds his fucking yeah, together. You have a lot of sheep that that <laughs> love to follow you. I like it. Yeah, he goes, Sonny goes, so like, have you ever got punched in the face? Wait, when do I ever <laughs> ask you like that? Kind of shit Sonny would ask you. What's going on, Anderson? Good to meet you. What up, buddy? Kyle. Thanks All right, for having guys. Us. Let's do it. Oh, I All right, guys. Okay, tell me if I'm wrong. If this is not Brad. <laughs> so, yo. Okay, Anderson. When you were five, like I know there was yo, some anger built up. Where did that come why from? Why do you? Where, where did that come from? Because why do you? I went through the same thing, right? No, no, no. Why do you? Now, why now, do you the, now the comments gonna be like, Steiny's chirping Brad because he's clearly insecure that Brad's a way better yeah. host than him. Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course, one hundred percent. Yo, could I have a fruit punch, dude? But why do you sit in the chair? Do I sit up in the chair like that? Oh, really? No, I just. This is the only I was flavor? just getting personal. Oh, okay. Yeah, Watermelon. you should like Anything reach for a shoulder. It's like, yo, my, my my question gets fucking clipped on every TikTok, but millions of views. But hey, fuck Steiny, you know what I mean? And then oh, Brad's right here, like, like, who taught you that? Brad's Brad's getting a lot of love in the comments, though. It's you seen all the comments? It's kind of yeah, dope. it's it's dope. I appreciate you guys. Thank I don't you. See Brad those. is you are very very. For good some reason, I don't I see those it. ones. Must you be don't see I must be reading. They must be way down. I don't know. I yeah. don't know. They're Steiny, somewhere there. Steiny can't be reading comments nowadays. That's for sure. Yeah, that's probably why you don't on, see him because you avoid them completely. Why do Why do people love to yeah. hate? I, I I don't know. Do you you're, get you're it? good. You're great at this, dude. I'm not. I know. I'm not I don't but, Okay. No more like Brad. It's a permanent host. Like Brad. You're Brad. You're I'm on here. the podcast. He is. I'm here. Brad is a permanent host on the podcast. I'm here. Because now the comments are like they need to make Brad a permanent host. I yeah, thought we I said know, it. I thought in the we last announced episode. that. Yeah. Yeah. He did, but it was brief, and then I think it was because yeah. there was the joke about like the whole just, Mr. Beast I just video. I to remember, like we're all playing roles here. Like, obviously, some people I got to dumb down to like add humor. And oh, shit, so. shut the fuck <laughs> so, up! Don't play yourself like that. So just remember that. Don't take it too seriously. Like, wow. no, it's dope. I like the flow. Us three. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. <laughs> I almost want to run more internals, bro. Internals are fun. I mean, it bang. They like, do really that, good yeah. on uh, socials. Too. Yeah, like TikTok and all our internal clips. Yeah, I noticed that she was banging. But I think really good. with internals, you see more uh, personality, and it's more just like chilling. Yeah. Like you really get to see who people are. I think people. Well, you, I like you the, fake who you. I are, think they babe. like how we chirp each other because like we film so many videos for so long I, together. I don't know if I can chirp anymore during the interviews. I think that's not the move. Probably not. Chirp no. the interviewer? No, like when I chirp Brad during the interview because it's kind of funny. But I, I think I think people it's don't fine, like bro. That. You can't you can't also feed in too much to the comments. Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. What we're doing is like what we find funny, and and it's just at the end of the day, people are commenting on a conversation. Yeah, yeah. Pretty, you can make fun of me. Right? I don't give a fuck. You can make it's all good. Yeah, but you get a little like, dude, you take it. A Isn't little it weird how people are like oh. they're like judging a conversation? Honestly, I like love if you think about it, it's like it's cool, but it's weird. It's like we're just talking, and they're just like they're commenting about like our talk. How yeah, the, how the, the conversation? It's not like like a, a video, a funny video I get, but yeah. this is like different. It's at interesting end, though. At the end of the day, everybody wants to become an expert too. You know what I mean? An expert at like... Like, I would have done this differently. It's like, dude, come on. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I mean, that's how it is. Even all types of content. Like, you should have done this. You should have done that. But this is just fun, dude. Like, yeah. it's no, so I like, much fun. I like hanging out with so, you guys. I Romania, wish we could do more things like just like on weekends. Maybe we should start hanging out more, us three. Well, you guys live so fucking far, dude. Yeah, it's far. I don't know why you guys live out in like the middle of nowhere. Like, not only far, but then like very <laughs> far in that city. It keeps us away from the partying. It's probably smart. Yeah. Did you see like, my story the other day? I woke up at six thirty. This guy, <laughs> this guy was just going to bed. Are yeah. you serious? Well, yeah. I was. I woke up at six thirty, or I came down and I went to the gym like six forty-five. This what guy's, this guy's walking a Bro, girl I out of the house. Staying up, I stayed up all night. I had somebody over. I stayed up all night and six thirty. I was so hungry, bro. Nothing to eat. Dude. I went in and grabbed a whole bell pepper. 
I don't know if you saw that. No, I didn't. Just ate a whole bell pepper and went to bed, and he's making just a Just a bell? Like a raw bell pepper? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Yo. We have nothing but healthy shit in the house right now because he's on his health crime. Okay. So there's zero snacks. Right? I know. I remember that. We went to go eat. We couldn't have the rice on a table because he was going to eat the rice. Yeah. But like, okay, I have a question for you about the girl thing. Do you oh, like- go. This no, is going to no, get clipped. Brad is a no, fucking no, genius co No, it's, I I just, it's a question, dude. <laughs> no, go ahead. Ask okay, me. you fucking- At this point, when you bring a girl over, do you ever, do you ever still miss- like the first example, you brought that girl over. Like, have you seen the Shady Canyon house? That's amazing. It's beautiful. But, Security but guard standing there with a piece that. on him. You think that you're gonna that's miss? Your, did you? Did you? Did you slay? Yeah. Okay. That's but, your first kill in the house, though. It was. Don't, don't act like you're slaying left and right. No, I'm not. But that's my question, though. Is like, definitely do ever, not. Do you ever bring a girl over now and then not finish? That was his first girl he brought over. So. Oh shit. That's happened to me. Both. But what about in other cities? In yeah, yeah that's everywhere. Happened. That's happened. Not finish. Just like you get, you know, you're like ha making out, whatever, and they're like, "Hey, I don't sleep with guys on the first night." Yeah, and then they go and fuck Kyle. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, like, <laughs> like honestly, that, that has happened oh, once. I dude, was like, honestly, it's fuck. I, when girl, I, this is a real thing. When girls say, "I, I'm not that kind of girl," that happened in Toronto. I f <laughs> that really, act, that really so. happened. Literally happened. Apparently, I don't know what she said to him, but no, that's what she said. And I was like, all right, no worries. Like, wh whatever. We went back down to the party and watched her and Kyle disappear up to the room, and it was like a. <laughs> God damn it. Yo. She came back down and I was like, hey, you stay true to that, huh? <laughs> damn. Yeah. Whatever. That it happens, what though. I just find Wait. that so funny, man. Yeah. But does girls that, who say that, like, Has that happened to you or what? What? Yours which is part? more like, you're, you got the kind of, you probably got the Dahmer door where you have like 15 locks. The Dahmer, you've been watching all of that Dahmer shit, huh? No, I can't. I don't think that shit should be on. I'm going to tell you right now. Have you watched it? No. Have you watched it? No. I watched the, I fucking, I that think shit, the show's garbage. It should not be I'll be, be honest, on the Jeffrey Dosh, the Jeffrey Dahmer show fucking really? sucks. Really? Because everyone's raving so about this. garbage, Yo, bro. It should not I, be I on TV. Like it. It's the fucking most disgusting I don't thing like I've it. ever seen. I, I only watched the first episode, and obviously you can't judge it by the first episode, but it was so fucking bad. Really? Like, it was so, it was, it was creepy, but it was boring, yeah, bro. It was so a slow, freak, like, too. Yeah, I didn't watch it. Fucking cuts people up, eats them and shit. I'll be honest. Why do I want to see that? I think, I think whoever made that show is like... Sucking well, a Netflix executive's cock, and that's why they just well, Netflix no, you know what happened is it. Ted Bundy did sucks. so well, right? Ted Bundy did great, and it's. I thought about it. Isn't it crazy how they're taking serial killers who killed people and making now they're really glorifying, glorifying them, glorifying yeah. them? Yeah, I'll be honest. It's, I like. I this is gonna sound really rude. hippie, but I stopped watching like even just all kinds of negative types of films and shit in general. Like I just don't even want to involve that kind of stuff. What's you know, another so? negative? Oh, film? here we go. Just like here, bullshit. horror no, story on. shit, everything. Where it's like I just stopped watching that the, kind of the shit. The Jeffrey Dahmer one. Comments really incoming. Weird. Brad is such a good fucking no, guy. No, dude. I'm not even <laughs> saying. Listen, I'm not saying you can't watch this shit. It just the, the the information we constantly feed ourselves is important. I, I did. Uh, I did think of that when I was watching the Jeffrey Dahmer show. I was like, not on some hippie shit, but I was. I just realized I was like, wow, it is so interesting as like a society how we glorify someone yeah. that just literally. Yeah. Just like killed people and ate people. Well, yeah, that someone made a people, comment like, to me too, and they're like, "Dude, imagine being one of the victims' family members and seeing Netflix or whoever make a big bag well, off of this." It's well, didn't like, they say yeah, uh, this kind of weird? Didn't it go? Didn't like get people get mad at Rick Ross because he was like, "I want those Jeffrey Dahmer shades or some shit on yeah. Twitter or some post," and everyone's like, "What the fuck?" Because like, like, why would you glorify it? I guess, but everyone is glorifying. Well, that's that that's show. a little extreme because like that. Rick Ross is making a joke about the shades, but yeah, no, I don't, I'm again. I, it, it's just what people what people are saying. Like the Jeffrey Dahmer one's so boring because like he just killed like gay guys. Like at least Ted Bundy was kind of entertaining because you got to see a bunch of like hot girls and shit. But Jeffrey Dahmer, <laughs> yo, this is Jeffrey funny. Dahmer's more just like he's just like killing gay guys. So I was like, I thought yeah, he was gonna be killing rockets at least. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean though? This guy's about to die, Gabe. Like, that guy's hot, Gabe. Dude, were there any hot dudes that, that Dahmer got? Where the Dahmer? Like, and did you see the? Have you been watching the Dahmer thing, the Netflix thing? Oh, I have not. Gabe oh, you have it. Okay. I'm afraid of that shit. Yeah, it's a little. She's kind of weird. I'm gonna tell you why. Yeah. I watched Best the first episode. Vibes, though. <laughs> Yo, I love how I love how he threw you under the bus so fast. That's, that is the most Dude, outrageous thing I've this ever. This is heard. not gonna go over well for you, bro. Dahmer cut you up. He's feeding fucking 15 people, but <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate. That. You want to come go to Dahmer's Thanksgiving? You could feed a family with Gabe. <laughs> he got like, Gabe right before fuck. Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you guys are fucked. Solve that world hunger issue from last week. So fucked. Yo, we're not eating. We're not eating a turkey. We got Gabe's fucking bicep. Today. Dude, this is terrible. It's fucked. It like we're uh, we're even adding to the fucking bullshit. It is what it is, man. Fuck it. Fuck. So where did I just saw Anderson? He he was yeah, over there. A, we're at Anderson Silva's house. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is and this is crazy. He's, this is he's like fired up. It, yeah, he's super hyped. Like he's like reminds me of a kid. Yeah, yeah and he's fired up. What? 
I thought he was a little younger. I saw today his age is 47. 47. Bro, he looks like he's fucking 30. He's 47. Bro, but That's he's crazy. He looks 30, bro. But he his looks energy, so young. His yeah. energy's up. Like, he reminds me of a child. And he's we're in his backyard, and basically he has, like, uh, he has a ring here. It's, 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 this is dope. We don't know where he went. He's inside playing fucking yeah, Call he's of Duty. Mario Kart or some shit. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no, he, he came out here, said what's up, right, when he got here. He's, he's cool as fuck, so. What's his relationship with Dana? Dana ever talk about him? Uh, I I mean, Dana obviously thinks he's a legend. I I feel like their relationship might be a bit... I mean, he's not in the UFC anymore, so... I mean... I wonder how... When these guys leave the <coughs> UFC, what the, if it's just like a see you later type thing, or if they keep in contact... Or keep in touch and like... I mean, the UFC has got a Hall of Fame, right? I mean... It's right? probably just person to person, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Anderson Silva, about, like, he was fucking insane. Oh my it's god! It's crazy that we got All -time him. Legend. I, I haven't met one fighter that had that kind of energy. Me neither. Like with Colby, Sugar, like just very different. What What do you guys? What's your, What's your guys' predictions before he comes for just the fight for Jake? Yeah, I don't really know. Well, th here's the thing, dude. I I I like Jake and I want to see him win, but it's like, dude, this guy's 47 years old, bro. Yeah. Like that's old, especially to fight. Ten years ago, it's like, whoa! If he's thirty-seven, I'm like, damn! I'm taking Anderson, but, but now I feel like I feel like they made the right decision. Like I feel like when Jake Paul did that, I think Jake Paul fed too much into the comments, maybe of like fight a real boxer. Like yeah. so, after that Tyson or Ty, what what the fuck's his name? Tommy Fury. Yes. After that flight fight flopped, when he tried to fight that random guy. Yeah. That was just not it. No. You know, like at the end of the day, people want to see. Jake Paul, even if people are going to comment and say he's old, sure. you're still going to watch the fight. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, I think you people, know what I mean? Silva's a legend. It's like, no one wants to see him fight, fight fucking Hasim, whatever I the fuck that guy's I would have liked to yeah. see him fight Tommy Fury. Well, everyone yeah, wants Tommy to see, Fury. Ultimately, I think everyone wants to see him lose. I feel like that's what it is, right? We're waiting. People are waiting to see him lose. Well, that's what's so interesting about his fights is because he talks so much shit. Yeah. So well, you one, can't imagine, you can't imagine him losing because if he loses, it's like, what the fuck? Well, and if he loses, it's all, it's like loses, the whole gravy over. train's gone. Right. He's done. I don't know. I honestly, I feel like, I feel like he's going to win. Anderson? I feel like Anderson's going to win. If I'm making a prediction, I want to know. Or it goes, it goes the length and then they give it to him by decision. They give it to Jake by decision just because, like, why not? Why I want to know not? his bag. Do you guys know his bag? They don't say that. I don't Jake know the Paul bag. Say that, Let's try to find out. Yeah. Do you think it's got to be a million? Plus. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, it's definitely a million. Two or three, plus. maybe? Got to be more than that, I think, man. Not a bad, why not, right? Yeah. I mean, if he, if Anderson still loves to do it, then why not, right? Yeah. I think that's all that really matters. I wonder what Dana thinks about the fight. Because obviously, I mean, you know, he, like, he kind of doesn't really like Jake Paul too much, right? He said this. Well, the, he said this time ago. He was like, he wants a real fighter fight Anderson Silva. He has no chance. R you know what I'm talking about? You he did that say clip? that, yeah. Ooh. I think he said something like he has no chance of beating him. I don't want to quote him because I don't know, but... No, yeah, like I, I saw. Well, Jake Paul put it in his promo. He said, "If he wants to fight someone real, no matter how, even if he's old, he said fight Anderson." Yeah, Silva, I saw him so. at a press conference, kind of saying that. Yeah. So I wonder how, how like much his power has declined when he's this old. I mean, I don't know. There's like I don't know how to measure it completely. I'm sure a bit, but I mean, he's still a skilled technical fighter. How's your face doing, by the way? Your lip healed? Yeah, but it, now I feel like I have this like fucking uh, thick permanent bump. Little... Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, and it's like. It's like a little numb still. I feel like it's still coming back. Here comes Anderson. Here he is. Should I go to the bathroom real quick? Is that cool? Gabe's going to be so Perfect. horny. Are you going to the bathroom now? Holy fuck. Ready, guys? Yeah, we're ready. Yeah. Sorry, guys. What? No, you're great. Oh, you're, you're, great. Good. you're good. Yeah, you're good. So much energy, man. I love it. So you guys just are you guys just renting this spot, Anderson? This has got to be the crib. Seems like it's a crib. Sorry, no, you're good. Is this your is this your permanent? Is this your house or is it a rental or no, that's my house, but this is rental. Oh, nice. So yeah. what, you brought all this shit in just for the camp? Yes. The gym, the ring? Yeah. Wow. Wait, do you do you don't always have this here? No, no, no. Oh, just the tent. The boxing ring was here already. No, 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 no. I, I bring everything for here. The, my gym for here. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Damn. All right, so um, I, I guess I kind of want to start it off going, going back to like how you initially got into fighting overall, right? Because I, I, I know that you wanted to be a soccer player, right? Well, you know, it's, it's funny because um, I live with my stepmom and my stepdad in Brazil. And um, when I have a time in the school, I I take the bus and, and 
and go to Sao Paulo to visit my my real dad. And at one time, I talked to my dad about the tryout, the the, the football yeah. soccer. And then what happened? I, I go to the the Corinthians club, and you but get in. I'm come too late. Yeah, and then the guys don't don't give me the permission for coming inside. Late? Yes. Damn. And uh, I'm I'm too too late, and I just in the in the club, I just stay with the with the the everybody inside the 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 Corinthians right. soccer club, and uh, the people training boxing there, and I come watching because I just take time to take the bus for back to my dad's home. Yeah, and uh, when I When I sit down and I watch everybody training, uh, the in the time, uh, coach uh, Vitor Ribeiro just look at me and say, "You training?" I say, "Yeah, I training, but I don't train in boxing, soccer. Why you Why you come here? I I come to try the the tryout to 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 play football, but I'm too late. Yeah, coach Vitor just look at me and say, "Okay, so." Take this stuff and let's go training. Was and that, that's like my first uh, contact with boxing. With in fighting in general, right? No, 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 not in fighting in general, but in boxing. Okay, with striking. Yeah, I just think it's interesting because like a lot of people, I'll get asked all the time about like <clears throat> things that people want to do. Like I want to do this, or I don't have direction, and then how like direction kind of changed and shifts over time. Like your your direction of where you where you wanted to go. You're like I wanted to play soccer, and then you kind of like found something else that obviously changes the rest of your life, right? The whole course of your life. Yes. I mean, I believe in the martial arts change everything in my life, you know, because when I start, I started in school in a, in a program and I have it in school the, for kids. When you, when you come out the school for the, don't lose your time and doing something crazy. The program in school is, a uh, is, a. Um, Is it for a lot of people think it's dancing, but it's not. It's a, a capoeira. And I start training capoeira in the school. That's my first contact with martial arts. Yeah. It's like dance fighting. I mean, it's not dancing, but it's yeah. dancing. My mom put me in a capoeira yeah. in the process at the school because my mom think it's dancing. You know, because I'm completely crazy <laughs> when I'm young. And uh, my mom. Oh, you're still you crazy need, now. Uh, yes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you were you here always crazy. this like energetic as a kid? Yeah, because you, you know, have a lot of energy. I, I mean, it's a good thing. Is it good? Because yeah. look, I have everything in my life. I have uh, my real friends. I have my family, my kids, and everything I do in my life now is just enjoy, enjoy. You know, and I don't, I don't have nothing to say. Oh, this is terrible. You know, of course, sometimes you have a good days and sometimes you have a bad days but like everyone yeah yeah but i i try to enjoy my life you know yeah what were some awesome. of the hardest times of your life like oh, we had to say like i have a lot of hard times in my life you know when i say in your childhood start there yeah when i when i have uh my first baby you know i don't have a nothing except my talent and my uh my energy to keep doing something for my family you know and the time i'm 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 i just work in a in a fast food in a McDonald's yeah yeah i work yeah. in a McDonald's and uh sometimes i work in um in the clubs to to like board band, guard like, you know like music clubs yes okay. and uh you are yeah. a guard Like a yeah. bodyguard, a bodyguard, yes, nice. crazy. You get into it's crazy there? because I'm, I'm, my voice is not, is not good voice, you know. <laughs> you know, my body is not, you know. But uh, yeah, how'd you say yeah. get out of the club? Like, did you say it like that? I mean, <laughs> I sometimes I try, but you know, <laughs> the problem my voice. The people don't don't respect my voice. Do you ever get in any fights as a security guard? A lot, there? Really? <laughs> yeah, a lot. Any you can remember? Do you get any? Do you get any L's as a security guard? Um, <laughs> yeah, I have one time. That's This is funny. very interesting because that's funny. Yeah. The guy is big guy, and I start to doing something in the bar, and uh, the the manager come talk to me, and 
and you say, okay, I go talk to the guy. And I go talk to the guy because everybody knows. Uh, but hold on. At this point, you've been training, I'm assuming. You know. No, no, no. I training. Yes, I train. How, how, how much training have you had in like the oh, martial arts? Oh, a lot. A lot. So you were it, trained. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. And uh, <laughs> this is everybody great. knows me, you know, and I talk, I start talk to the guy and the guy know me and everybody say, oh, I don't go talk to with this guy because it's big and, and every time the guy come here and destroy everything. But I say, okay, I go talk to the guy and say, bro, listen, please. I'm here to work. And tomorrow morning, I go to training and everything. So you're doing something crazy here. You make problem for me. Please <laughs> don't do that. And the guy's, oh, come on, Anderson. Don't worry. I go. I got you. I got you. And, uh, and uh, the manager come talk to me. What do you say for the guy? Bro, I say, you have a two choices. You stop doing something crazy, or I go kick your ass. But I, I never say that. You, know? you were just, you were just and calm with yeah, it. It, yeah. And in my mind, I just say, you know what? Huh? I need you doing something for the guys. Give me more job, you know? And that's I. You got I, a raise after that? Yeah. The guy I thought said, you oh, tough you need to come. You need to come in. I say, no, yeah, I don't worry. I, I can take care of your, your stuff. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, this has happened. But. It's funny because I born in a family, it's a poor family, but when I moved to Curitiba to live with my stepdad and my stepmom, my stepdad come to the army, to the police force. And when I come, I just say, oh my God, that's crazy family. You know, everybody wake up early and everybody just say yes or no, I, I, I don't want to stand. I'm, I'm, I'm so young. I'm 40 years old. And uh, my stepdad just look at me in and say, listen, you have a two choice in your life. One, you're doing something for your future. Oh, you're doing something bad for the rest of your life. And I, I don't want to stand because I'm 40, 40 years old. And I just... Why didn't my uncle say that for me? I don't understand nothing. But today I want to stand. And uh, I, I, I student for Com Cop with the same my brothers and my my dad. But uh, I feel it's not for me. And uh, the time, two months, to go to the 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 police police forceman, I say that you were going to become a cop. Yeah, I yeah. say that. I, I'm not. I think it's not good for me. I I don't feel. That's my life. Yeah. And my stepdad stopped talking to me for three months. When did you realize, like, this is, this is like, this fighting thing was for you, like, in your heart, in your life? The fight word come to come in my life very uh, natural, you know, because I start training and uh, in the time I'm, I don't have uh, too much options, you know, oh, come cop the same, my brother, my dad, or, I doing the different job or fighting, but there's really that, that was the only, those are the only options. Yeah. Because I just try to, to follow my, 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 my coats in the time, you know, my dad and uh, the experience I have in the gym with my, my, my masters in, uh, and the time the fight is not you know, having too much money, you know, yeah. the people fight because love. And I say, you know, I think that's that's I go do for for leave for give something for my family. But in the time, in my mind, I just open my gym and doing something and nothing more. But everything's changed because the sports start to grow up. You know, everybody start watching. In uh, the the videos about uh, UFC and the yeah. time, you know, comes from Rock and uh, Hoist Gracie, and I say, "Whoa, that's cool. Maybe yeah. I go do that too." And that's I start training more serious to come professional. But when I when I realize I'm inside the sport, you know, it's so crazy. Gra Gracie and Shamrock inspired you. Yeah, it's yeah, when did you a, meet a lot the of people 
uh, inspired me in the time, you know. Um, of course, the Grace family yeah. make open the door for everybody yeah. in in the MMA sport. But and I grew up in a, in a city is um is a very famous city about MMA fighters. And the time is uh the name is not MMA, it's a Vale Tudo. And uh, a lot of guys fighting in the time, you know, in a in a EV, EVC is the name of the show. The Vanderlei Silva and uh, the other guys, you know, fighting in the EVC in the fight a lot. You know, I yeah. say, whoa, that's crazy sport. But I maybe I can do that. And um, I start training with my friends, uh, my neighborhoods, because he's a training. The guy's training jujitsu. In the time, I don't have money for training jujitsu because jujitsu is so expensive. And uh, the guys use me to to help to training and I I'm I'm lucky because I training too you know and the yeah. guys give me my first gi and I start training and uh say whoa that's cool but yeah. uh I never realize this happened in my life you know I come professional fighter MMA fighter yeah what was you know? that first big fight that you realized that you're like shit I might do this like for the rest of my life uh, Do you remember I, that fight? Yeah. Was it pre-UFC? No, I... Bro, it's crazy because... I my, my first professional fight, I... I drive to... I think... I don't know how many hours, but a lot to the city. And the Mato Grosso is the name of the city. And uh, I fight four times the same day to hundred dollars. Four times in the same day? Yeah. Like for what? Two hundred like back total? to back or like? No, 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 no. Is I fight in a waiting, and the other guy fight, and everybody fight together. Was it like a tournament? Yeah, tournament. Oh, yeah, shit. It's insane. Yeah, so that's, 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 that's my first. <laughs> yeah. And uh, when I when I finish, I I win. But uh, when I finish, I just talked to my my professor in the time is Almir Hamus. This is my first uh, Jiu Jitsu coach, and uh, just look at me and say, "You're good. You win the fight. You're good." And I look at him and say, "That's crazy. I never go do this again." And uh, it's insane because I'm I just in the time I just fight. Um, kickboxing yeah. and I fight Muay Thai and I train in Taekwondo but uh, my first contact with MMA yeah. in the time and I say whoa and it's is a is a is a very interesting because the the last fight I fight with the best jiu jitsu guy in the time is a uh, uh, Fabricio Morango is a my friend now but uh is a is a student the uh, uh, Hoyler Grace is a black belt. In the time I'm, I'm, is it is it is it funny because in the time I'm blue belt, way lower. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but I already training the different martial arts. In Did the you time. pick it up quickly? That's just yeah. And I pick it up something fast, and I win the fight. And that's a start. And I do an, a fight in Brazil a lot in the Mecca, you know. Yeah. And I fight in Japan, I fight in Korea, I fight in the different uh, countries. Yeah, but as far as the UFC, you were such like a big, and you obviously are still such a legendary fighter, but you were such a, a big part of the, I would say the growth of the UFC as far as like the fight yeah, game you're elevating. Yeah, in like an evolution stage. Yeah. Of like Where like, it's completely different now and people fight, like you said earlier, you fought for the love of it. And I don't know, do you think all fighters now fight for the love of it? Or is it more like the fame, the popularity? Because you were in a stage where like you grew with the UFC and you kind of like stamped, kind of put your footprint as far as like being one of the one of the legends in the sport. And everyone kind of, I don't know if everyone's doing it now for the same reasons, you know? Well, yeah, it's, uh, for me, I think the martial arts is a more important. And uh, when I start fighting, of course I start fighting because... I try to found the, the my my own tribal tribal you know yeah. and uh, doing something for survive 
make money for my family and to my kids, you know. But when I when I start in a something start to happen in my life because I training a lot, I pass in a lot of difficult in my life. I start feel how power I have, how much power I have to do something different. And I'm very lucky because in the time uh, Minotauro helped me to come more professional fighter, you know, more uh, experience in the jiu-jitsu, more experience in no gi. And um, I start fight in a high level, you know. And, but for me, the fight is for honor, respect, and respect your coach, you know, respect your, your, the legacy, your masters, you know, that's I continue doing my life because this is so important for me. I, I don't, I don't think the fight is for you come famous. Yeah. Everything's come natural. You know, when you, you're doing something in your life, your personal job or fight or not, doesn't matter. You're a professional. When you're doing something with your heart, you love, you have a passion, you make successful. That's, I think I make successful in my entire life because I working hard. I pass for the different, um, experience in my life, bad and good. And today I, I feel so happy because God give me everything to continue to do yeah. my job and continue doing something to prove, uh, my respect for martial arts. Well, when did you get like your first bigger paycheck when you were like, okay, this is a becoming a profession more than something that I just love. Brother, my first paycheck is amazing, you know, because it's insane. Yeah. Where but, was it? Was it in the UFC? No, 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 no. Before? No, 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 no. For my, for, for my mind, it's my first paycheck. So I fight two times in, uh, in, um, in this city, uh, Mato Grosso. In the second fight, in the second time when I fight, the guys give me... 400,000. And that's the the big money I have. I remember that's in, Brazil money, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But but it's not big money, but that's the big money I take in my hand. Do you know what that would have been in USD? Uh it's not too much. Gabe, you know? Oh, not even $100. Not yeah. even $100. Yes, yes. 80 it, bucks. Does yeah. it, does oh it, shit. <laughs> okay, that's Does it bother you at all that you're fighting and risking hurting yourself for such little money? I mean, in the he time not choice. because I just try to to prove my respect for my masters and uh, doing something I love, and in the time I that's that's I do for survive. I need to do that. Yeah, you needed to. But right now, I believe in the the sports, the sport, the combat sports change a lot. A ton, you know? yeah. And uh, people need you to understand that, but. I believe in one thing. So I'm a fighter. I need you to understand my valor right now. For make the contract to sign contract, I need you to understand my valor. And that's the problem for the, the new generation. Yeah. The guys don't 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 work together. The fighters don't work together, you know. How so? Is is insane because imagine everybody, every single fighter is just okay. Let's go doing something together, guys. That's not not good money. Everybody making now, that's not yeah, good I because see. you putting your risk, your life in risk. So, oh, so you're saying like like how the NFL, PA, or something? Exactly. Like, you're yeah, saying yeah, like, like so a fighters exactly, association. Yeah. I'm I'm lucky because <clears throat> in the time when I broke my leg. I just hold my money. I take care of my family. I do an investments and everything. But imagine it, I broke my leg and don't have this vision at the time. I'm, I'm done. My life yeah. is done, you know? And um, that's the, the fighters. I need you to understand the game. 
you have uh, the company. The company is you. You are the owner of your company. Is you not only fighter. You honor your company. You need to take care of your company. You need to put in people behind you to take care of your company. Because you make a deal with the different uh, uh, organization. organization. But when you sit down to sign the contract, you need to understand your valor. You know? yeah. Your company make the deal with the other company. Is a... Uh, that's the 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 fighters that need you to understand. You think the, you think some of the fighters don't understand their value, or they're not working together to like make sure yeah, they're able both. to get their value. Yeah. Sometimes don't want to send the valor and sign something because oh I need to do because it now. I come yeah. famous and but but when a star fighting, especially athletes have a lot of talent. Yeah. You know, putting your risk in life, putting your life in risk. And uh, lost the time with the family, and don't make good money. Why? Because you already signed something, and uh, you have uh, the the people behind you to pushing you to sign something. But the people don't care about you. That's the problem. You need to put in people behind you to protect you. You know, and that's um, I learned with my master Minotauro. Is tell me something very important. So Anderson, the people stay with you for help you to make good decision in your life, especially in professional life. Is the people don't want need your money. Yeah. When you have a people that need your money, you go lost everything. Yeah. Yeah. It you seems know? like you see that where guys on the come up once they get a little famous or they make some money they completely change as a fighter and in the ring. Like they don't care about winning anymore. It's only about money at that point. Yes, that's the problem for the, the new generation. The guys don't don't make uh, the base. Right. And don't want to stand the game outside. The game outside is you need to come professional. You need to understand everything. You know, when you have a chance to sign the contract, Take time. Don't sign. Make sure you're getting a good deal. Yeah. Yes, yeah. because when you sign, you can't talk in about. You can't say, oh, I signed this. The guys don't pay me correct and this and that. It's too late. Yeah. You know? I, I got to be that, honest. It's Sorry. It seems so different because I feel like fighters from foreign countries like Brazil, from Russia, their mentality is just very different and they care more only about fighting. When you see other guys, it's all about the money and they fight for the fame. You think that's like something that you've seen? Yeah, it's it's a different. In Brazil, you have a more that honor, you right. know, to your team, honor for your master, and you fight for honor. Like the pure love for the sport. Yeah, it's just a culture thing too. It's right? a culture. Yeah, but the words change. Yeah, the words change completely. You need to come more professional, and I, I'm lucky because. A lot of bad people work with me for many, many years. Oh. A lot of bad people. Really? What what types of people? Like uh, business people, know, trainers? Business people, trainers, you know, and uh, friends. Oh, the and, worst. Uh, I lost a lot of things, but thank you, God, I put on good people behind me, you know, and people... The same. The people don't need my money. The people have more money than me and just try to to help me because the people want to send my valor to the world, you know. And uh, I sit down one time with the team and say, guys, this is me. I have uh, uh, talent. I have uh, love for my sport. But I don't understand the business. I need you to understand the business. Yeah. I need you to understand how I can make something better in my life. And the team sit down with me and say, Anderson, listen, that's the 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 street you need to take. It's long, but you need to take that. And that's helped me to understand everything in my life. You yeah. know? 
and change everything. Yeah. And I'm so lucky because uh, when I when I my contract with UFC is done, I already have these people behind me. Yeah. In support system. In a support, and the people have the old strategy to, I'm continue make uh, something better in my life. You yeah. know, it's not about Anderson fighter. It's Anderson businessman. It's Anderson owner of the company. And um, I think it's important the fighters understand that because yeah. today you fight. But tomorrow you're not because if you can't do come, it forever, yeah. Yes, yeah. everybody come. Old. I, w- I wanted to ask you something. You did a you did a post fight interview with Bisping after your last fight with I think it was Uriah Hall, and you you said something that I wanted to ask you specifically about that sometimes we don't know when to stop. Like you don't know when to stop fighting. Listen. Like why do you think why do you think that's such a thing that fighters kind of they just keep going and keep going until they get to a point where they're like that Fuck. might be with everything. Yeah, of course, too. of course. But that's also a financial thing. Of course, it could be financial, but like, but now that I'm talking to him, it's very clear. You all this kind of seems more. It's more about honor. It's more about the value. More about who, like in yeah, your heart, right? I but, mean, so and when I fight with Ryan is um, is a very interesting because in the time when I fight Ryan Raw is uh, my last mistake I do in my life with team make yeah. a team you know how so because i put in good and bad people together oh shit <laughs> on that yes. fight on that and, camp yes in the camp but uh, i do i in my mind i just you know what i go try to help my friends oh fuck and that's the big mistake yeah. because i don't train correct i try to uh intermediate the the dramas in, in the, the camp, camp training, oh man you know but that's no excuse. Right. Ryan is better than me in the time, you know? And um, it's crazy because the energy involved the fight is completely different. It's uh, the COVID and everything, yeah. you know? And uh, it's a bright new one for me. Everything is a bright new one. The time is a bright new one for me. And I I say, wow, that's it's tough. But when a fight is over, I I can't walk because I broke my nose. Yeah. And I'm a little uh, busy. And um, um, the the people uh, front of me is is the uh, doing the interview. But I saw the chair the the chairs and there I say, oh, I can't sit down for do that. You know, I. I Take knockout and I why you don't sit down? I, and I sit down and I start talking with the people. Yeah. Sit down. And but everything is crazy because I remember that I don't talk bad about Dana White, right? So but I go talk specifically this moment yeah. about Ryan Orion Hall. Um I'm sit down and um I talk to the, the everybody. I doing the interview, and I and I people say, "Oh, because Dana say this is your last fight, and blah blah blah, and this you can't fight in UFC anymore." And blah, blah, blah. I say, "Yes, I, I'm I'm not fighting UFC anymore, but I'm not done. Not I'm, done. I'm not done. I I just finished with UFC, but I continue fight for sure. I go continue fight, and." Uh, that happened in the moment. And I, I say, you know, nobody can say for the older man when the guy needs to stop. Yeah. You need to found that inside your heart. You can't say for your kids, don't do nothing. So you can do that. No, you don't do that. No, you can do everything in your life. You know, and uh, that's I feel... Something strange. And um, the same moment, the people, I think, interview Dana. And uh, Dana say, oh, I'm, I'm completely uh, sad because I put Anderson in that situation. Look, this is the legend and this has happened. 
listen, fight is fight. Yeah, you took the fight. Yeah. Sometimes you can win, sometimes you lose. Yeah. But I don't I don't talk nothing bad about Dana. You know, yeah. it is that's happened in the time. I, I feel I feel very disrespectful because this a matter happened. Sometimes I think the people don't remember how much I fight in my life, especially uh, people inside the sport, you know, the same Dana, the same, the other promoters, you know, and uh, that's the people don't want to stand about my generation. Fight is part of the life, you know, fight yeah. is part of my the my heart, you know, and right. this doesn't matter happen. I'm I train every day, and that's I talk to my kids. You need to train for first for take care of your body. Second one because you never know when you need to protect yourself, yeah. and uh, you need to protect your family too. And that's I talk to my kids a lot. So I'm 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 old now, but I can't hold you for a couple hours for you don't die. That's I train every day. That's my mentally to protect myself and protect my family. Of course. You know, and uh, I talk to my kids a lot. So what happened, your brother climbing and then something happened, you you don't have a power for hold your brother. Your brother go die because you don't have a power for hold your brother. And that's my mentally, you know, I train every day to have a power to hold yeah. my family and my team. And that's my team give to me. Yeah. You know, my mentally in the in 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 the fight combat is a is a is a very similar to the soldier, you know. That's I talk to my kids all the time. So you have a mission, you need to finish your fucking mission. It's not about money, it's not about come famous, it's about Mission and finish the fucking mission. Yeah. You go die, you know, go die. You back home, you training for back home. But you you need to die for prove your respect and finish your mission. Do it. This doesn't matter happen, do it. And uh I think in the time Dana make mistake to talk something about me, you know, but it's okay. I want to stand. And uh and the business word is a number. Everybody's a number. Of course. Yeah. You know, everybody's a number. But in the, my word, I'm a soldier. Yeah. I'm preparing my mind for war. I prepare my body for die or kill. That's when I go inside the ring. That's what I go do. Which I have a question about that because I was thinking about this on the way over. I'm so interested in the fact like you've done this so many times. You show up to the ring so many times. Like, are there ever any moments where like, it feels different going to the ring. Like, cause I, I can't even imagine like I have so much respect for you and fighters in general who like know that they're going to like basically go to war that night. Right. Um, have you ever felt that walk felt different? Like where you're like T today, maybe I'm not ready. Were there any fights specifically where like, did I do everything that I had to do? Or were you always just like, no, I just, every time I just, and you know, go to the fight, I'm, I just, I'm ready. Are you, you calm? Down. I'm calm, but everybody okay. have a something inside. Little, oh, I'm I'm little scared because you never know yeah. what happened inside. But that's the mentally the soldiers. Yeah. The problem is not about the soldiers is scared. It's about the soldier doing something when he's scared. Did you ever have yeah. a point though where you're like, you know? You're losing motivation, or you like thought for a second, maybe I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, yes, one time. Or well, you've been like one mid time. fight, and you're like, yeah. "Fuck, this but, isn't going well." But when I do that, I make mistake. Yeah, you know, and I take knockout with Chris Weidman. Ah, uh, you know, yeah. because I I'm in there, but uh, my mentally, the war mentally is not there. Same here. You know, and uh, I'm completely. 
changed my focus. That's putting my life in danger because I take no count. Yeah. You know? And uh, in the time when this happened to me, I just say, you know, I need you back to my basic. And I stopped uh, thinking about, oh, that's, I don't go do any more this or this. No, I just stop and say, you know what? Let's go back to the basics. Yeah. And training hard every day. And I never stopped training. You did you know? prior like did you kind of before that fight did you kind of get away from it and that's how you ended up there you think yeah i i just my mind is just completely out the outside the 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 training you know yeah. i training but i'm not there i just uh, why was it I something go, in like your personal life or something or because i put on the too much pressure on myself and uh the people in the time Take care of the part of the business in my life, doing something a lot of shady shit. Yeah. yeah and uh, you know, in my mind it start, you know, and I just say, you know, I I can't, I can't do this anymore. I need to change. And uh, the moment I lost the first fight, I say, you know what? I go change to the basics and I doing doing something better. So how about this with the Jake Paul stuff, right? Because now it's it's after the UFC. How do you think that fight's going to go, number one? And how is the camp going? So the camp is amazing. You know, I I just... I'm still tripping you're 47. Like, to be <laughs> honest, it fucking blows my mind. Yeah, you look I, I amazing mean, for your age. Holy I shit. just... I'm grandpa, bro. I'm uh, just... Yeah, but you came in here like... I'm, I'm grandpa, like, yeah. Screaming, yelling, hype. What, can you feel it on your body? It no, I don't feel because I train with the young kids. I do an aspiring with the young guys, you know, and um, I have the best team to help me to continue doing something, you know, and um, uh, every single time when I when I have a fight, I just start my camp training and training hard and uh, sometimes when I stop my camp training uh my my coach just talk to me and say bro you need to stop stop man you need to stop for one month take take vacation go to I don't know just yeah. stop and I say no I, I can't stop I can't stop because I have a two things in this point in my life I, I love to continue fight. And the second one, I don't have the same age years ago. And I need to continue training every day because when Otherwise I... you lose it? I mean, it's not. It's, it's just for my mind working hard, you know? And that's I I put in my mind. I need to continue training because when I stop, I go stop. I don't go stop and say, you know, I go back. No, I go stop. Okay, so right now I continue doing this and I don't go stop. When I when I when I decide I'm um, no fight anymore, I, I don't go fight anymore. How different do you prepare for this as a boxing than like a previous fight? You start think, vlogging and stuff? You well, start vlogging. I think the like boxing <laughs> is is uh is not easy, but for me is 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 better because I don't need to kick. I don't need to put in the ground. I don't need to train jujitsu, wrestling, yeah. you know, and everything. And know, do I, you ever want to just like when you're boxing, do you ever just want to like throw just throw kick? like a flying knee <laughs> no, to the face? No, 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 no. What no. if you did that to Jake Paul? That'd Yo, you funny. should do that. Actually, that's no, a good idea. No, that's an L Definitely though. not. Yeah, but it would go <laughs> fucking viral. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. No, no, you, no, but you, definitely not. You think you can not. beat him with just the hands, right? Uh, I mean. Yeah, I, what's your prediction for the fight? Yeah, I know you guys have been more like. This is more of a you guys friend, are friend, buddy, buddy. But we're like it. marketers too. I think no, now's I, the point where like we just start talking I think, shit. I think when a fight is done, I can say, "Oh, I'm friend to Jake. I'm not. I'm not friend." Yeah, well, fine. It? But how are you going to knock him out? Or, how know? do you see it going? Uh, <sighs> not like it's going to be a good fight. Like, it's, what's your prediction? It's a very yes. interesting. I don't like to talk about this because oh. you know it's fight is fight i i train you to war you know i train to war i have a uh the coach daughter stay with me for many many years you know and uh <laughs> i just I, I i don't i don't i don't see my team 
just come to to work with me to doing something bad. You know, everybody come to war, you know, and uh that's I talk to Coach Dodd and Coach Nico. So I'm I'm a soldier. I'm 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 everything you 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 talk to me to do, I go do. And I go to win this fight because that's my mission, you know. And I think the moment in my life is just to enjoy. Yeah. But my soldier mentally don't give me space to enjoy. Oh no, it's just a Jake Paul is not boxing. It's not good boxing. No, for me, it's a good one. And I go fight for a good one. So there's no funny business here. It's not funny business. You're coming to beat it's, the shot, Jake Paul. Absolutely. Okay. And what do you think? What do you think of Jake's ability? A lot of people say he's just obviously he doesn't fight anyone real. That's a good question. Doesn't fight I mean, anyone his age or his size. But what what do you think of his skill level as a boxer? I think it's good. I think it's coming better on every day. When you're training what more out of ten? More, what, what out of ten you think? Uh I don't know. I think that's a good question for my coach. <laughs> oh, that's a good you're good on you're that. Too, that was nice. nice. Yeah. That was nice. <laughs> I mean He but, dodges all the Yo, questions. yeah, he's liquid. <laughs> no, I, fight is fight. I think Jake in your in 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 his brother doing something very, very important. Open Absolutely. the mind for the people. Absolutely. Because the kids are so smart. The kids open the door and open the black yeah. box and say, look, yeah, think about guys, you know, that's... I think it's a great thing, obviously, for the good. sport, yeah, for sure. Of course, especially right now, everything's changed in the world, you know, the world's changed. Yeah. The kids open the door for something new one. Yeah. It's weird because he's not, you're the first guy that he hasn't been shit talking too right this he is like a, a different kind well, of yeah, vibe for a Jake for sure. Paul fight I think yeah. is that's good because I don't like to talk I like to to respect because that's my base mm -hmm. you know the martial arts base and uh the problem when you talk too much when you go inside the ring or the cage the pressure and the first contact happen everything's changed right you know and uh, I don't like to talk I prefer doing my job and that makes a lot of sense you know who's, who's the biggest shit talker you face chael yeah chael yeah chael <laughs> chael is bro chael is he interviewed you didn't he the other day? Yeah. you guys saw each other for yeah. the first time and it sounded like it went pretty well i, I mean i he's I a funny guy a though chael's a funny chael guy is a funny, very, very but funny guy. chael helped me to make something better in my training because Cheo pushed me hard to doing something better and better, you know? What did you have to that, get better at? Uh, well, that first fight was insane. I remember watching that. I've been watching UFC for probably like 10, 12 years. Like when yeah. you were in your prime and GSP, that was like my Fuck. favorite time. Yeah. And I remember watching that fight. And when you triangled them at the end, it was a triangle, right? Yeah. I, like, it was mind-blowing. What was your, like, mentality? Can you remember it all during that I fight? I remember. I just training. Like, did I, you think you were going to lose? No, no. You thought you were going to no, win no, still? No, 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 no. Like, I never, fifth round. I didn't put in that in my mind, you know, when I fight with Che or never. Because I, when I start, uh, I think it's uh, four weeks to the fight, four or five weeks to the fight, I train with the the... The judo guy is a, is a budokan in Japan. It's the guy come to train with us. And the guy give me uh, the one takedown and I hurt my my ribs. And I feel a lot of pain. And the time Ed Suarez is my manager and I and I talk to Ed and say, Ed, I think I something happened to my ribs. And uh, Ed take me, put him in the car and I go drive me to the doctor. And the doctor doing the, the 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 MRI and say you have a little scratch in your ribs. I think it's better you're not fight because this is broken, you're in trouble. And I say, okay, uh, okay. And I back to home and I say, you know what? Uh, it's the first time I doing my comp training here in the United States. Yeah. And I say, you know what? Uh, I go fight. And I, what do you say? No, yeah, go fight. I don't care. I go fight. <laughs> you know, I go fight because it's a lot of things. It's not only about 
me is about my country, about my family, about my master, and my owner. And that's how I take the fight. It's this crazy mistake, but it's something that good to happen crazy. because I'm winning the fight. Yeah, but insane. Is that, is that kind of common that I feel like people are, like often will fight injured? They just, nobody knows, right? They keep it pretty quiet. Yeah, you can. Some people do, some people don't. Bro, I go tell you something very, 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 very serious. Nobody fight in the high level, no injury. Nobody. Uh, no They're one's 100%. You always no, got no, something. No, no, no. Yeah, everybody have sense. an injury. Everybody. In the, in the high level, everybody have an injury. They got something. I, I wanted yeah. to ask you, going back to the chail thing, like, did, what do you think the line is when, because you said you don't talk much, but there are talkers out there. When is the line when it's like, bro, you're taking this too far? You don't have a line, you know, and I, when I chill, start, blah, you know, I just, I don't talk. I just, I, when I talk, I go talk one time and the guys try to push me for, I talk a lot of shit yeah. and I don't talk nothing. And I, the last time I just, everybody in the phone, Dana, chill, everybody in the phone, they say, all right, so let me tell you something. I'm not go joking. I go change the sport forever. I go kill this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I go broke your every single bone the guy have in your body. I go kill this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> and because the people never see I talk the same. They were shocked. Everybody chalk. Yeah. In a, in a, in a, in a, <laughs> oh, you're laughing about it? <laughs> yeah. No, I got this guy. <laughs> and what happened? Was in that a, for the first fight or the second whoa. fight? Yeah, it was the first fight. You said first fight. In a in a what happened? That's that's the strategy. You mentally fucked him. Yes. Damn, you got him. In a <laughs> in a the the when I come the the press to the weight check and I come close and I say now I go doing something and I come close and boom my shoulder in a in a in a in a chair and if and I say now I move something in the mind this guy now the fight start because they didn't and, expect it yeah, yeah. I didn't expect it in uh but the fight is so interesting because chair pushed me pushed me hard you know yeah. pushed me hard but i remember i just talked to my master you know thought i say master don't worry i go finish him you what, what round did you say that in no i go. i just i just talked Going into the fifth? In the training. I oh. just talked to my master. Prior to the fight. You know, to come to help me. I say, don't worry. I go finish him. Do, can you block that out though? Aren't you ever like, yo, this is for the business to sell fights? Or do you take it, like, how do you balance that with taking it bit for the business and personally? I, I mean, it, you 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 have a part of both. You know, business and personally. In, in, uh, in the, the fight, I just say, you know, I need to finish this guy. I need to finish this guy. I need to finish this guy. And I, but I can't move a lot because... I take my first knock, knock, knock out, and I just little two rounds. I'm just see five chill in front of me. I say, "Oh my god, oh, I need to take one." You know, and I, <laughs> I never shit. do the takedown in my life. And I when I and I uh, put a chair in the ground, and everybody, whoa, you have a good wrestling. No, I'm not. I just try to find something to put in the ground. And uh, when I finish chill, I feel. Uh, is little tired to breathe because it sponge me, sponge me, and I look at me in my face. It don't change. I look in your eyes and look at me and say, "As he was ground and pounding you, yeah, you kept and looking I at him, punch me, punch me, and say, just do it, man.' Dude, imagine that. that. Wait, that's you're that's imagine, him. imagine you're going hard on someone and the yeah. guy's just sitting there like, yeah, calm. And I just you're like, look what's happening? And I say, okay, I go take, and when I come, the the to the 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 Third round and uh, Hamon Lemos in the time is my jiu-jitsu coach and say, Anderson, listen, just put in the arm inside and bump your legs. That's that's it. And he say, coach, I know I try, but I can't breathe. And uh, okay, continue try, continue try. And the last one, I remember the chair punched me, boom, boom, boom. And I because you had doing, a few submission tries in that. Right? Yeah, I do yeah. a lot, but it, and I I do the one hard punch. And I, I feel chill because chill tired. And I put in the hands down and they say, now is my time. And I put Dang. in the, the leg, the, the triangle. And I, because the Hamon training that 
same position with the Mendes brothers a lot. And uh, Ramon tell me, so let's go doing this, this and this and this. And uh, when I do in the triangle, the chair will pass the arm and say, whoa, it's the same position. I train every day and yeah. I take the arm bar too. And I try to move my ribs a little bit high and that's the chair tap. Yeah. But it's a hard fight. How did you have the strength to pull that triangle off? Was that like your last bit of energy? Is it my last energy? Yeah. I just, I, I, I go broke the arm, the guy, or I go lost the fight. That's it, and yeah. I just boom, 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 and the chair tap. Yeah. So I have a question about, uh, kind of about like the, the things that are most important or which, which would you say is most important? Obviously in the fight game, I know all of it's important. The technique, like the wind, the, uh, like you in the actual space and being like ready, but what would you say is the most important part? Like, is it having the, like the endurance or is it having the technique or the fight the IQ? The more important? Like, obviously it's all important. What do you think is the most important thing? IQ, striking, grappling. Yeah. The more important. Heart. You don't love, don't do it. Ah, I knew you were going there. You don't I love, you don't do there. it. Because everything, everything in your life. Yeah. This here, the podcast you have, yeah. the guys have here, you're doing this, you make success because you love. I love it. You yeah, we enjoy in, it. You put in hard job, but you love this. Yeah. This doesn't matter how much hard job it is, how much difficult it is, you put in hard job because you love. That's the secret in life. Yeah. That's the secret in every single part in your life. Anything you do, honestly. Yeah. yeah. You don't Agreed, love, yeah. don't do it. Don't do it. Because you go fail, you come a lot of frustration in your life, yeah, and you make a lot of mistake. Don't do that. That's I, 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 I continue fight. I continue doing training every day because that's my air. So that's when you'll know when you're when you're going to stop someday is when you when you don't love doing it anymore. I'm assuming, right? No. I, I, you think I you're know? just gonna do it forever? I, don't know, I feel like you're that guy. Yeah, I can't do that forever. But in some shape or form, you'll be doing it, right? You'll be always I be mean, involved I, in the sport. I just, I, I know my time is come, it's come to to the to the last part. You know, the books come to, you know, that's the last part. Last chapters. You know. Yeah. And inside the the fight game. Yeah. But when I'm here. I continue to do my best. Yeah, of course. This doesn't matter happen. I continue to do my best. And I don't feel tired. I, I Sometimes I have a pain in my leg, my arms, my back. I don't care. I just, when I come here, I come to training. I don't I don't care. Yeah, I, sometimes I have a good day. Sometimes I have bad days. You know, it's funny because when I average and the whole team come, and uh, the first... The first day the guys come and I have a sparring and the guys beat me and I say, okay, okay, I'm happy. I'm happy because that's my friend say, I love you and beat me a lot. Then I talk to coach Dodd and coach Nico. So listen, I don't go fight with Ebert. I don't go fight with Nico. I don't go fight with Eliezer. I don't go fight with these guys. I go fight with Jake Paul. And the guys say, yes, that's the guy beating you a lot. And they say, okay, let's do it, you know. And uh, it's a secret, is passion, love. Yeah. You love something, do it, you know, do it with your heart, you know. And the the time I have here, every every time when I wake up, I know it's come to the last. Yeah, less know? and less time, yeah. And I, when I wake up, I just come here and say, you know, I go do my best. Ever, ever because work? I don't know. I have the same energy for tomorrow. I don't know how mi how much time I can continue to do this, you know? Yeah. Does it scare you at all? Like, hypothetically, or if you were to lose to Jake Paul, that that would hurt, like, your legacy or anything like nah, that? No, I don't think it definitely would. not. I think fighters fight, yeah. you know? It's a, it's a mission, you know? That's I put in my mind. It's a mission. It, you, sometimes you you have a, the, the soldiers, and you train your soldiers for the mission, and sometimes... You lose the mission. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you fail. Sometimes you win. Yeah. But I train you for win. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't train you for lose. Yeah. I train you for win. And the, the fights happen. 
I'm win. Okay, I'm win. I'm lose. Keep keep doing. Let's go. I don't go lose. Trust right. me. I Can don't you go please lose. make him a meme for us? Yeah. I just want someone to make him a meme. I want a knockout meme with Jake Paul. I want him knocked out. Like you know. I, I mean, it'd be pretty. I, don't know it'd be, what, I mean, I it'd be crazy. I, I don't know. I go and knock out the Jake Paul or not, but I I promise. I go prove my respect for boxing world. That's my yeah. goal. You know, that's uh, I training with the the gold Olympic game guy in the boxing. Yeah, that's I training for professional uh, boxers. That's I doing uh, my best every day. That's I I I receive the 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 phone call to Canelo to uh, say, oh, continue. I know you respect the boxing, and that's I need you to do. Prove my respect for boxing. Yeah, you know because the boxing is is a very interesting because not doing the disrespect for the other sports, but in boxing a lot of people die to make the sport huge. Yeah, a lot of people lost everything to make the sport huge. You know, and uh, I can't come inside the sport and don't do my best. Prove my respect for boxing. It's not about knockout Jake Paul or knockout the other opponent. It's just go inside and prove your respect for boxing world. Do you, yeah, do, you ever, do you have a relationship with Conelo? Oh yeah, I Conelo. You know, so Conelo. For, bro. <laughs> well, that's what I said. Yo, I went and watched Triple G, and everybody says Conelo. He had to do it on this episode, <laughs> dude. Can, it's Conelo. Let's go. You got him. Did I not say it right? You know, Conelo. It's, it's funny because <laughs> I'm in Mexico with my coach. Conelo. In a, is that not how you pronounce it? Anderson, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Let I think him go. Canelo, Canelo. It's Canelo. Canelo. You Canelo. said it a little different. It's fine. Well, it's, no, don't it, worry. I, I went to Triple G and everybody just yells Canelo. So that's how I said it. Oh, <laughs> but dude. it's Canelo. Yo, I'm it's done. Canelo. So Fuck. it's funny because <laughs> I'm in Mexico. <laughs> He's going to want that cut out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bro. We got to leave it in though, right? Okay. Well, Triple worry. G. Triple G is what? Like 39.40 and he, he looked like a beast in there. Yeah, that's the the... Jake and I need you respect the boxing because uh -huh. look these guys, you know. And Do you think Jake shows respect because he calls a lot of people out? I still think that's he respects I think it, respect. That's what makes yeah. it entertaining. Try to use in something to take attention to the business. You sure. know, is it smart? Yeah, it's I entertainment too, right? Yeah. It's, it's very entertaining. As yeah. a fan, it is entertaining. The same I say. I, I continue respect uh, and try to do my best for prove my respect for boxing. And when I met in the Mexico, I'm in the in a in a, my room and I arm up and a Canelo come to talk to me. And I, oh my God, no ways. Canelo, bro. <laughs> That's serious. And I come and talk to me and the brother too, you know. And um I'm so I'm so happy because one of the fights done with uh Xavi Jr. Canelo come talk to me and say you're doing the best you you're amazing continue do your best continue work because you're doing something very special for us did he give you any tips uh, no no give him a tip but give him a glove you know oh, nice. <laughs> yeah and I nice. said whoa I have the <laughs> Canelo's glove you know it's amazing I wanted to ask um was there ever a time when you and GSP we're ever gonna fight? How? Because I know, like, you guys were both at the peak. That's when I was like really heavy into it, and it, it felt like it was gonna happen for a bit. How close was that fight to happening? Ah, uh, never come close to happen. Not at all. No, never at all. Was there you talks know? about it? Is it a lot of talk? A lot of talk, but never happened. You know, and I did. He want to come? Did Did you want him to come up to one eighty five? I think is in the time is. Um, it's a super fight, you know. Super fight. Yeah, huge. But this has never happened. I think is um is the moment pass yeah. and uh you see don't don't make this were you guys huge both fight were you, for were you guys both into it though? Like you yeah, and George? Yeah, like you, you know, guys were both like you want you want to fight each other. Yeah. But I don't know why not happen, you know, but I think UFC lost this amazing fight, you know. Fuck. That would have been yeah, insane. Yeah, that would have been legendary. Yeah, I believe in that too. That would have been incredible. You know? what, what, was the, too. what was the hardest fight you've ever been in? My hardest fight, I think, is my first 
title belt in in Japan when I fight for the my first title belt. Yeah. With Hayat Sakurai, that's my hard fight. It's just because your experience, or just because the style of the fighter. I mean, it's a hard fight for me because it's the first time I realize I fight for respect to my country. Because when I come, when I come, walk into the the ring, the two flags come. Oh high. yeah, Brazil, Japan, Japan, and Brazil. Yeah, and I start the 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 you know national Brazilian you know, and I say, whoa, bro, now that's serious. It's I, for your country. Yeah, it's it's about my country, and um, that's my 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 hard fight. That's the the fight I feel very, very, you know, because in the time I had to beat in a lot of Brazilian guys and beating a lot of uh, fighters. And uh, I'm, when I see Hayat Sokra, I say, oh, my God, this guy is the beast. And uh, the war is starting, you know. And uh, the hard, the second hard fight is with... Um, uh, DC. Yeah. 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 That's not what made that fight so hard, so hard? I mean, like more than normal. Did he surprise because you? Because it's a, it's a heavy to me, you know. Heavier, yeah. In a, in a couple months ago, I have an injury. Uh, I take my gut bladder, and I'm not training for nothing. I just in a home, and I when I come back to United States, I just stay in home. I just relax. And one day I go to my gym and uh, I take the news. Oh, John Jones out the fight. And I, wow. See, I don't believe it. And I just take the phone and I call my manager and say, Ed, I can't <laughs> fight with DC. And I just say, like that. Yeah. And yeah. I'd say, You crazy? <laughs> you, you, you have an injury. Months ago, what what are you talking about? How far out was the fight at that point? I think four days. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. (laughs) Like like with an injury. Four days. What the fuck? And I just, you know, I think I, I can't fight. I can't fight. But I'm not training. I'm not. I just, you know, I just say I come back home, and I look everybody in the home. I say, I go fight Saturday. Wow. And everybody look at me and they say, what? So like no camp? No camp. Wow. Damn. And, I, and I, I go fight Saturday. And everybody look at me and they say, Saturday? One month. This Saturday. And my wife look at me and everybody look at me and they say. They're like, are, yeah. are you always prepared though? Like, are you in shape at this point? Or no, just... no, no. But my oh. mind already. Yeah. You know, and I just, I go do this just for see feel something inside my heart, you know, just, and I take my kids and put my kids in the car and drive to Vegas. <laughs> Yo, you drove to Vegas? Hard. Yeah. You sat in the car, you drove to Vegas that whole yeah. day. Wow. And I remember it's three, day, three days to the fight. I just <laughs> called my coach and then, coach, uh, the, because I have a, is a, is a, is a joke sentence about because of the movie is uh elite troop in Brazil and uh and I talked to them, anytime when I fight I just talking about that and then I just talked I call my coach and I talk coach daughter coach the Bob is uh is ready to go to the fight and uh, coach daughter who's the, 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 what what are you talking about I go fight with DC when Saturday I send her the passage the 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 ticket for you fly to here and I coach daughter, really? Yes. But, but you train? No, I'm not training. Let's go. Let's do it. And um, I think it's a three days to the fight. I call the coach and says, I, I, your ticket is in your email. Just come. And everybody come to to stay together in Vegas. And everybody say, oh, uh, what is the st- strategy to the fight? I say, I don't have it. Just win. I go Let's- to... I go to to fight this guy, you know, and uh, it's crazy because I put in my kids in the car and say, "Listen, that's the special lesson both have now. 
Say that again. I talk to my kids. That's the best lesson. Best lesson, yeah. Yeah. The best lesson both have now. You go see, I drive to, to there because I love fighting. But you see nobody go, when the fight's finished, nobody go come say thank you. Yeah. Listen. And my kids in the car with me. And I draw and I stop, eat and hang out with my kids. And, and when I, the fight's finished, but okay, everybody, okay, boom, boom. Nobody say thank you for me. Yeah. Nobody. But it's fine. Well, because did, I do my best. I do my best. I do my part. And uh, for me, I'm winning the fight because. It's so crazy. Well, that's what I want to ask This you. is training for a fight with the best guy in the moment. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. John Jones. Yeah. And I fight with the heavy guy. And no notice. Well, and no notice. That's what I want to ask. I want to ask you, the UFC doesn't show any appreciation that you're just willing to four days advance. Like, you're pretty much saving I, the fight. It, they don't you know, pay you like a little bonus or some shit? It's easy to you. Nothing like that? To you think yeah. about. Well, if, I'm, if you I'm Dana, I'm like, thank God he's saving the show, right? But I just, when I finish, I take my kids and put them in the car and back home. And uh, I remember Khalil just, dad, now I want to stay in why you're talking about when I, when you put us in the car and say, that's the, the good lesson the life give for us. Because you love, you love. You don't love, don't do it. Because I you're see. waiting for people, oh, you're good, yeah, it, it, you're amazing. No, no, don't savage. do that. Yeah, you don't seem to care. You just do it because you genuinely love it. So exactly. whether you get a thank you or not, like you did it because you love it. Your heart's in the sport. Yeah, exactly. And I take the fight with Stefan Bonner too. Yeah. Like no yeah. low, low notice too. No, no. It's, it's, it's not. I'm, I remember I had a commercial with my master, Minotauro. And I, me and Minotauro in a commercial in Sao Paulo. And uh, Ed's call. So oh, something happened in UFC Brazil and... What do you think? You you can't fight? And I say, yeah, I can fight. Of course I fight. Who? Uh, Stefan Bonner. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I can fight. And Amino Tauro, my message say, I fight too. And me and Amino Tauro save you, see, Brazil. Because Amino Tauro, because I fight, Amino Tauro say, yeah, I fight too. And uh, the, the, the break to the commercial, when I break to lunch, me, me and Amino Tauro is training. And uh, when I say, oh, let's go fight, and Minotauro say, yeah, let's go. And I start training for fight, you know? And um, that's crazy. It's crazy, fuck? but it's about love. Yeah. It's about passion, awesome. you know? Yeah. What, what do you think about, can we get some predictions for fellow Brazilian Charles Oliveira on Islam? Bro. Because I love Oliveira. Uh, yeah, this I is mean, a big that, fight. I joke sometimes here in the home. It's too, I have a two. Uh, sentence I do sometimes at home. So when are the kids, when I doing something crazy, the kids, dad, you crazy? No, I'm Gracie, bro. I'm Gracie. You know, that's the joke, you know, because Gracie is about power. And that sometimes I say, you know, when I doing something, dad, you're too old for that. No, I'm no, I'm not old for that. I'm Gracie. And uh, the other thing is, uh, come on, man. My name is Charles. Charles the Bronx, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm Charles the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> it is joke to joke things, but you know, is a uh, Charles Oliveira is an amazing fighter. Yeah, mm -hmm. and nobody can talk about him because the kid doing something very crazy, you know, and training hard. Yeah, you know, and uh, training a lot for many many years. Now, I think you see start to see more your valor inside the company you know yeah i agree can yeah. you predict a win for him or are you taking islam or of course it's a big fight. The Bronx go win bro of course the Bronx go <laughs> you think he's got him. it that's a that's yeah. a very yeah that's, i'm really pumped for that i'm fight. stoked that's that's fight. Fight. i'm i'm charged the bronx yeah huge, 100%. Huge fight. do you guys have a relationship both being from brazil are you guys like no i i i think i i talked to him one time Oh really? But it is now is the same. Is uh training on the same team I trained in the past, shoot the boxing. Got it. But uh I believe in as uh 
He said, Charlie is ready for this fight. You know, I know it's hard, but I think it go win. Yeah, I'm excited for that fight. I'm, I'm really excited, excited too. Who are you rooting for, uh, Silva Paul? He 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 was saying Jake Paul's probably gonna get the dub. I don't know. What are you talking about him? You, with... you said that before oh, he came that. out here. You're just trying to trash bag no, me into the kidding. podcast. What the fuck's <laughs> going on here? No, I I said I think you're gonna win in the fourth round. Okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah, you go putting your money in that. I would, yeah. Because right. I think I, I, should we bet? I mean, should we bet? Okay, on I win, Anderson? you give me half. Oh yeah, no. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'll, I'm down. Yeah. No, I just think like I think I guess my 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 thought of it is if you just tire him out a little bit because I feel like he gets a little tired of all the fights that I've seen, then just you could capitalize well, on it. Well, I think it's going to be a big test for him to see you walk in the ring. Yeah. Yeah, just mentally. Do you think he's intimidated at seeing like a real guy like you walk in there? Because I mean, like the basketball player. And, I, know, go, I go. I go tell you something. So. When you see the two guys, right? Mm -hmm. So in front of you, but it is in a shadow. And the two guys come in your direction to key you. But you can't see the guys because it's a shadow. But you know the both come to key you. Why you think you go do it? I don't know. That's too deep for me, bro. Why you go do the fight? No, no, no. Two guys in the shadow come to Two kill you. Two guys in the shadow come in your direction okay. to kill you. But you can't see the guys. But you know it's two guys come to kill you. Why do you go do it? You have to. You don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. Exactly. Why do you go do it? Why to do I go do yourself, it? yourself, right? Yes. Because Save I yourself. have to. Because I'm going. There's no other choice. Yeah, that's no choice. That's I go do to, to the fight. I, yeah. It's no choice, you know. It's no choice. Yeah. You don't have to, to, to second choice. Yeah. You you need to come to fight with me. When you go inside, you go fight with the beast. Do you think he has that? Do you think he has that ready for you? I don't know, but I'm prepared for that. Yeah. You know, I'm preparing my mind for fight with my hard fight in my life. You know. What? I don't. I don't go fight with the uh, Jake Paul. I go fight with. The best fight in this sport. Yeah. You know? It almost seems like and a fight within that's yourself. That's I put in my mind. Yeah. yeah. One you last know? thing I got to ask about Jake Paul. What, what's the biggest thing you got to worry about with him? Well, he's a, he's a, he's a fast. He have a hard punch. And he's clearly got power. Yeah. He's made a couple yeah, memes. Yeah. He's, 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 he have a good power. But in my mind, I, I training for fight for the best boxer. Yeah. yeah. You know? And, that's my 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 mind training. That's my team train me. You go fight with the best guy. You don't go fight with the young YouTuber. You go fight with the best boxer. You need to protect yourself. You need to do everything correct. So you think high level no matter what. No matter yeah. who it the guy is. Matter what. Yeah. 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 I still think you should go in there and just hit him with a kick. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, honestly, like, I would be honest. Maybe, maybe. That would be so no, dope. That me. would be. Yeah, I'm telling you. But think Maybe. about it. Think about okay, it. Okay, okay. Do round if two you are you if you are losing, I think you just hit him with a downwards elbow. No, yeah, I straight up. <laughs> I don't. I don't go lose. Please, I go win. Yeah, you know what? Right. Kick him in the head. I go talk. Odd. I go talk to the one percent chance. No, no, no. Please. I go talk to Jake and say, let's go doing the the one more fight, but exhibition kickboxing. And oh, please. I, he won't you do kick that. me, I can kick you. Please, right? but I promise, I don't go kick you hard. Ah, oh. I wonder when a boxer is gonna step into MMA again. It's been a while. Yeah, who was the one guy that did it? I don't think. Remember the guy? He came into the UFC. Oh, he's a uh, Tony. Tony. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I remember this. I don't it's know his tough name, because though. the guys don't have wrestling. I feel like that would be so. Yeah. I know. Groundwork. It wouldn't be fair, right? Yeah. But it'd be so huge if someone had the balls. And especially to like, fight huge. with. Uh, Randy Contour in the time. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. He just out-wrestled his ass. Yeah. Dude, just please you know, kick him in the face, dude. Someone should do that. Get Go to the I UFC. Can. I, I think kick it's, in the face. I, I don't just, know, like, though, but why? Guy, bro. I know, no, I know, I, I, I think it's cooler if Could you imagine just a fist? spinning oh, back course. kick? Uh, yeah, imagine. <laughs> no, I just, when I, the, the, the fight finish, I say, Jake, let's go doing the, the other fight in the kickboxing. That'd be amazing. All right, let's go do one more. That'd be incredible, man. I'm excited. I'm very yeah. excited. I'm excited for, this fight. for the fight. I'm excited Let's go. Too. So Thank you for letting October us come to your 29th. Home, man. No, come on. Anytime. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. October 29th, 
Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. Arizona. That's a great, <laughs> it's a great I'm so spot. Yeah. yeah. You know, out there. I, I'm excited favorite. <laughs> because, you know, is, is the fights come and I, the guys stop beating me in the training, you know, that's the good thing, you know, because in a, I, I just look in the, in the, in the, in the time I say, oh my God, the fight I need to come because how many, how many more days the guys go beating me? How many more days average in Khalil, Gabriel, and Eliezer and little Nico beating me? I, I, I'm tired for these guys. No, no. And everybody come and look at me. No. Do you need that relaxing Ready fight? Today? Oh, with Jake I Paul. love you, man. I'm yeah. your friend. But it's not my friend. It's beating me every day, you know? And Everett is there and look at me. And look at this face. Bro, I love you, but at the same time, I hate you, you know? <laughs> and uh, it's it's funny because the coach Doria and I say, okay, so... Doing the same game, the Jake Paul do it, but go slow. And the slow is a doing two points in my my belly, and I just okay, okay just stop, stop, one second. And I see why why you do that? Why, bro? I try to do the same Jake Paul, but Jake Paul never do that, bro. I go kick your leg, and I say no, 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 no kick. I say okay, all right. And I in a five rounds. The different guys in the five rounds say, guys, I go fight with one guy. It's not different guy. It's just one. And the guy's beating me every day. That's crazy. You're putting, you're putting in the time and the effort. You're fighting the fresh guys every round. Yeah. It's crazy. I, I, I so Jake to, Paul is like, it's easy. That's an easy fight. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think it's easy, but uh, it's, it's a hard fight. It. Yeah. It's hard fight. Do you have like I, a, I promise, guys, is the war is coming. Do you have yeah. a pre-ritual or something you do before every fight, like the night before, the day before? I just play games. Yeah. Like video games? Yeah. Oh, that's lit. Video games yeah. or what? board games? I play the, the games video on the games? phone. And Wait, sometimes I bring my 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 PlayStation with me. I what put games? it in the room. You hotel? Like the, I, yeah, in a hotel and I play in the room. And I, I like to call of duty. Oh in yeah, a Rainbow Six. <laughs> Let's go. And I, we should get a shooter. We should, we should get like a online game maybe before the fight if you guys are down. I, I mean, Dude, Khalil I'm, is good in online. I'm terrible. I like the more the storylines. Uh, oh okay. Oh that pussy yeah. shit. Yeah, that's kind of like Damn, 2004, but yeah. That no, sucks, dude. I know. I thought you were like a PvP guy. I thought you were like a fucking one. Back in the day on COD were dope, though. Yeah. Yeah, were, I uh, love the Back in the, the day? Oh, I just figured you would have been sweaty, like, trying to just no, no, hit I, all the I shots. No, no, I try. I try with the kids, but Damn. the guys beating me the whole time. And I, when I t t play in the, in, the, in the phone, everybody in the phone, they just play. And I'm in the room, and the, the kids, Dad, you die. I know, but I can play again. Put me back. Put me back. It's crazy. Yeah. I, online, I, I'm terrible. Damn. Hell yeah. I right, figured you would go. be dope. Yeah, that's it. I think that's it. Thank, thank you, you so we much. For you, bro. Anderson no, Silva, one we'll of the best here. fighters of all time. Absolute yeah, legend. Legend. Amazing guy, too. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Yeah, Thanks awesome. for having me. Thanks for coming to my Let's house, go. guys. Thank you so We're much. We're pumped for the fight. The whole team. Thank you, guys. Go. All right. Amazing. Okay, everybody go train you with me now. Let's go. Fuck it, I'm down, dude. That sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I got a dentist at 11. Oh, no. A dentist? <laughs> Thank good? you, bro. Yeah, yeah, really good. It's fun.